show your support. Follow me on Twitter. Hello, I am That British Guy and welcome back to One Pound Wonders. In this series I find a game for only one pound and I play it for 30 minutes. At the end of the 30 minutes I decide whether that is a one pound wonder game or a one pound blunder game. This time we are looking at Worms Forts Under Siege for the PlayStation 2. Now I haven't played many Worms games on a console, I think they are more at home on a PC, but who knows, let's take a look shall we? So here we are, obviously we're going to be taking a look at the single player options. Before we begin, let's start the timer. Right, single player. Play quick gameplay tutorial campaign mode. Um, let's do a quick game first and see what happens. And then after that we might start the campaign and sort of see how far we get. I'm thinking that uh, just a quick game should hopefully only take about 10-15 minutes tops. So that uh, we can kind of play all the way through one and then see what the campaign mode kind of has in store for us. Uh, it's going to take a while to get used to the controls. It doesn't actually give you any controls. Right. I can move this guy. Oh, I can't. I don't know what this star is, but I feel like I need to move towards it. Ah, weapons. Bazooka. I can't see anyone. Ah, there we go. Really sure where any of the dudes are. There's a barrel up there. Where are they all? Hello. Anyone? I've got long. There's someone. Oh, okay. That's a bit weird. So you're so far away from each other, it's not impossible to actually see each other. Still not sure what these stars do. Oh, okay. They're building a tower. Hence the fort on the siege bit, I guess. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. Oh, that was lucky. Reinforcements. What? I'm gonna fucking change my dudes. Obviously, as soon as you move one, you're kind of screwed. Right, worked out where jump is. And I've also worked out where they are. Just pause. Honey. Oh. <laughs> I didn't take into consideration the trajectory there very well. Reinforcements. God, it is hell. It's weird in a 3D plane as well. I'm used to just it being on a flat scramble, thing. Scramble. 
I'm also not sure how they built their wall. It's not really shown any obvious way of... Okay. feel like I really should be building stuff rather than just going gung-ho towards them. What does the keep do as well? Does that give you more weapons? Oh dear. That's never good. Well, you can really go the distance jumping, can't you? Oh dear. That's not good. That's going to absolutely obliterate me. Ah! Oh, that's fortunate. be a way of why is there no way of letting me build stuff I press buttons and nothing happens I'm not happy <laughs> why is nothing happening oh, that's jump Bring out these. I feel like I might need an airstrike at this rate. Uh, let's move you slightly around. Sort of there. Oh, wow, it's really difficult to work out where you. Maybe that's what the R1 is. Goes into first person mode. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Yes, sir. Now what are they going to build? Anything? No? Oh yeah, of course they're building more stuff. How are you doing that? Why does... Why, when I press buttons, does it not give me an option to build things? You're going to throw that into your own wall, aren't you? Fire. Oh, maybe not. So good job their accuracy is not very good. Is it near me? No, of course it's not. It's right near them. Yeah. R1 goes into first person mode. That's fine. I didn't get got. Uh, move the screen down. Ah, that's better. Let's actually see what I'm aiming at now. Oh, oh, that didn't go as far as I was expecting. But at least I can work out how to actually, you know, fire. Is that near me? No idea. I want to know how to build things. <laughs> Maybe I should have played the campaign first. Oh dear. How are you building things? I want to know. I so shouldn't have just jumped into this, should I? Heaven forbid I thought it, you know, might have actually shown me on the screen. Oh, Jesus. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Thanks for not hitting me. I'm not there anymore. That's lucky. Oh, that's right on their castle as well. Wonderful. Gonna 
gonna go full frontal assault on him. Ooh, lots of jump. Bet you never expected me to come here, did ya? Right. What's this? Nice jetpack already clicked on that, haven't I? Stupid building was in the way. I have a feeling I'm going to be far too close for them to hit me from there. Oh, the building's got health as well. That's clever. So you can actually destroy the building. I guess that makes sense. Be a bit dumb if it was completely impervious to attack. That doesn't sound good. You're just going to lob a grenade at me. Oh, jeez, more castle. Now what are they going to whack on me? Can they build on me, I wonder? Or have I kind of blocked that out? Oh, I'm actually in their castle now. I'm within their walls. Thank you. Are you going to attack me? Or not. Oh, you are going to attack. Lovely. Of course you are. Why did I even ask? <laughs> Fire. That should miss everyone. I'm not there anymore. Why are you aiming for that back corner when I'm clearly not there? Is this one near me? No, again, it's right in there. Why are they keep dropping right in their castle? Not happy with that. Right. Can't actually see anything from here. Jump it, jump it, jump it, jump it. Mind the line. Hi. Oh, you you going down? Hello. Go on, knock him in the water. In the water. Ow. At least I've done some damage to someone. Finally. Reinforcements. Tower. Oh, so they're different building bits, but they must have had some to begin with, because they built on their first go. So they must have already had some building materials. I'm hoping that the campaign is going to explain how you're meant to um, actually build things. Because obviously, given the name, it seems to be a fairly important... Science lab? Oh god, what's, what are they going to be able to build from that? Oh no. Uh oh. Are you just going to lob a grenade down at me? I mean, that would be the sensible thing, but the problem is you're going to... Oh, okay, a homing pigeon. Hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall, hit the wall. Damn it. Hit the wall. Hit the wall! Go in the water! Go on, please go in the water. Where are you going? Who are you even trying to hit? I'm so confused right about now. Oh, that's annoying. They've actually managed to... Why are you homing in on there? I mean, that was a perfect shot on where I started, but I'm not there anymore, and I haven't been for most of the game. Idiots. Right, come on then. I actually dealt them some damage, so let's keep 
keep going. I'm going with the just the gung ho tactic of go to their fort and see how they like it. Oh, hurt myself. Oh, that's going to be my go over, isn't it? Oh, idiot. Why did I jump off such a high bit? What a waste of a go. huge now. I'm guessing as well these different buildings give you different things because otherwise you just keep building the same strong building again and again wouldn't you? Like why would you build the science lab or the citadel or whatever and not just like walls and fort or like um What's this one? Ah. Like watchtowers, and I'm not there anymore, you idiots! How can you not see where I am? Reinforcements. Anywho, scramble, scramble. this time, watch how high you get. Don't get hurt. Definitely the way to move. Jumpy, jumpy, jumpy. Another one hurt at least. Yeah. Going down, boys. Double turn time? What? Come on then. What you got? What are you gonna build now? I mean you haven't actually hurt me yet. The only damage that's been done to me is where I've been stupid enough to hurt myself. Where are you going? Are you going out to meet me? Yeah, you are as well, aren't you? You finally realised. What the hell? I'm going to check time-wise. I want to get a go at the campaign. So I might actually end this after whatever they're doing here. Go! Again, you're firing at now. See, they're never going to kill me at this rate. So I think what I'm going to do is quit and start the campaign mode and hope it explains to me um, about the building side of things because that doesn't appear to be very obvious. See, I should have just played the tutorial really. Human Team 1. Let's see what it does. Nice little cutscene, floating hands. Random. Okay. Thanks for that, Egypt, yes. That 
was weird. Have a feeling I'm going to suffer with this because I haven't played the uh, tutorial again. Maybe I should have done that instead. But then maybe they shouldn't hide that like in the middle of the menu system. Egypt, land of the fellows. Birthplace of civilization. The home of the mighty Nile. And of course, plenty of sand. Yep, there's a lot of sand in Egypt, that is very true. Seen it firsthand. So. Ah, hello. Meet Seth. His hands disappear when he doesn't need them. A happy go lucky priest. And your boss. This is the Pharaoh. Who doesn't feature at all in this chapter. I feel like this needed a voiceover, so get lost, Pharaoh. Bye. Ah, there you are. In not Egyptian clothing. As Seth's apprentice, you must make offerings to the gods. What's this got to do with worms fighting each other to the death? All of these must be collected. Oh, great. And they're all surrounded by mines for no reason. Find a way of destroying these targets in the offering dishes. Then, as fast as you can, make your way up here. Where Seth will use his magical powers. To spawn in an army of terrible mummies, though probably also worms. The worst kind of mummies. Spooky. Ready? Game on. You must survive at all costs. You must find a way to destroy the targets of the gods. You must travel across the broken bridge and stand over the victory location. Oh, where are these targets? Yeah. Do I have a thing? Oh great, I don't have any weapons. How am I meant to destroy them then? That's obviously what the collection things are. Oh, uh, there's one this way, isn't there? That's probably nearer. Oh, don't fall in the water. Where is it? I don't like the way this camera moves. Oh, there isn't one over Oh, there's one over there. How on earth am I meant to get over there? Oh, the whole... Why did the camera just move? Oh. Okay, that went well. <laughs> I pressed jump. Shall we try that again? Hopefully without all the cutscene rubbish. Please don't play the whole cutscene again. Oh cool, I can skip it. Good. sure why we're in Egypt. Right, this time, idiot. Ah, blooming camera. Doesn't move the way you would expect it to. 
The up is the wrong way round, which is fine, but left and right arm. Haha. Thank you. Do I now have a thing? Oh great, now I can punch things. Ah, that actually put one of the fires out. Potato. Cool, so that's got rid of one of them. So, ah. Uh, and then sometimes the camera will move itself round, but not always. Move down. There's one up here somewhere, isn't there? In the middle of all the mines somewhere. Ah, there it is. Don't blow up. Oh, thank God for that. Blow the other mines up? No? Excellent. Right, they're all blowing themselves up. Oh, okay, so each time you collect one of these things... Oh, man. So I've got to walk back to them each time in order to punch them. Wish this camera would stop moving. If you're going to let me move the camera, only let me move the camera. Stop moving it yourself, you stupid game. A potato. Right. It's you taken care of. Got to get back up there now. This doesn't really feel like there are any forts on the siege here. This isn't even really proper worms, is it? let's be honest. Like Even on the old games, when you had a campaign mode, it was still, here is a map, here are your enemies, blow them up. Not really sure what this is trying to do. That then got rid of another one. Yep. But I'm betting I still have to go down there and punch it. Well, I'm not going all the way down there just to do that. I'll get the last one. Which I believe it looks like it's up there. So if I go up there and get that first. Ooh. Super jump. No, wrong way. Run away! Collected all the crates. Disaster! Scramble, scramble. Ah, perfect. I guess this kind of shows you that it's important to collect the crates, but there's a way of doing that that's not going around this annoying map and then having to go back 
to these random targets. Like, I can understand it if maybe you could shoot at them. Like, you got given a bazooka and you had to shoot them. So you didn't have to keep going all the way back over to them. Ow. So you can hurt yourself. You done. And one more. Right. Now where have I got to go? Oh, over to the star. Remember, get up here as quickly as you can. Oh. And that is the end of our 30 minutes. So that is Worms Forts Under Siege. Hmm. It's going to be difficult, this one, because I feel like I probably should have played the tutorial first. However, when we jumped into the campaign mode, there was no actual fort building mechanic right from the off, which seems a bit weird because in the actual single fight, if you like, at the beginning of the video that we tried, the main point that the computer team was trying to get across was building your fort up. So why wouldn't you show that to the player right at the beginning of the campaign mode? It seems a bit wonky to me. I'm thinking that if I played through the tutorial and understood that mechanic a bit better, then I would feel a little bit more favourably towards the game. But as it is, and with the way that the campaign starts off as well, with no fort building at all, just collecting crates and punching targets, yippee, this is definitely going to go down as a one pound blunder, unfortunately. So there we go, my thoughts on Worms Forts Under Siege. If you've played this game and you kind of understand the mechanics a bit better, maybe through actually playing the tutorial, then please let me know in the comments below. But until next time, I have been that British guy and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.